Unit 2, Lesson 10. Comparing situations by examining ratios. Number 1. A slug travels 3 centimeters in 3 seconds. A snail travels 6 centimeters in 6 seconds. Both travel at constant speeds. Mai says the snail was traveling faster because it went a greater distance. Do you agree with Mai? Explain or show your reasoning. No, I don't agree. The slug traveled 3 centimeters in 3 seconds. That's a 3 to 3 ratio. The snail traveled 6 centimeters in 6 seconds. That's a 6 to 6 ratio. These are actually equivalent ratios. This land represents seconds. This land represents centimeters. One centimeter, one second. Two centimeters, two seconds. Three centimeters, three seconds. Four, five, six. Six centimeters, six seconds. They are equivalent ratios. The slug and the snail were traveling at the same rate. Number two, if you blend two scoops of chocolate ice cream with one cup of milk, you get a milkshake with a stronger chocolate flavor than if you blend three scoops of chocolate ice cream with two cups of milk. Explain or show why. Two scoops of chocolate ice cream with one scoop of milk. That's a two to one ratio compared to three scoops of chocolate ice cream with two cups of milk. Three to two. So in this case right here, you have twice as much ice cream than you do milk. That's going to make the ice cream much stronger. In this case, it's not twice as much. It's one and a half times as much. So it's not going to be as strong. 2 to 1 compared to a 3 to 2, which is the same as a 1 and a half to 1. So when you compare a 1 and a half to 1 with a 2 to 1, it shows that the 2 to 1 had more ice cream. Number 3. There are two mixtures of light purple paint. Mixture A is made with 5 cups of purple paint and 2 cups of white paint. 5 to 2. Mixture B is made with 15 cups of purple paint and 8 cups of white paint. Which mixture is a lighter shade of purple. At the 5 to 2 ratio, you would end up with 15 cups of purple paint to 6 cups of white paint. So with 6 cups of white paint mixed with 15 cups of purple paint, you would actually have a darker shade than you would with 15 cups of purple paint mixed with 8 cups of white paint. This would be the lighter shade. Mixture B is the lighter shade. Number 4. Tulip bulbs are on sale at store A, five for $11, and the regular price at store B is six for $13. Is each store pricing tulip bulbs at the same rate? Explain how you know. I'm gonna say no to 11 ratio, that's store A. Store B is a six to 13 ratio. Store A sells tulips at a rate of one to two and one fifth, and store B has a ratio of one to two and one sixth. Number five, a plane travels at a constant speed. It takes six hours to travel 3,360 miles. A, what is the plane's speed in miles per hour? They're asking about one hour. So we need to change the six hours to one hour. Currently, it's a six to 3,360 ratio. Six divided by six equals one. And 3,360 divided by six. How many times does six go into 33? Five times. Five times six is 30. 33 minus 30 is three. Bring down the six. That's going to be six. Six times six is 36. Bring down the zero. How many times does six go to zero? Zero times. So it's a one to 560, which means one hour, it goes 560 miles. 560 miles per hour. B. At this rate, how many miles can it travel in 10 hours? In one hour, it goes 560 miles. So in 10 hours, we need a number 10 times bigger. 
So it can go 5,600 miles in 10 hours. Number six, a pound of ground beef costs five dollars. At this rate, what is the cost of three pounds? If one pound is five dollars, then three pounds would be three times five, so that would be fifteen dollars. A half a pound, if one pound is five dollars, then a half a pound would be exactly between zero dollars and five dollars. Two dollars and fifty cents. A half a pound would be two dollars and 50 cents. C, one fourth of a pound. Zero. Zero. One and five. So we have the dollars down here and the pounds up here. This represents a half a pound. That is two dollars and fifty cents. A fourth of a pound exactly between a half a pound and zero pounds. So what's halfway between two dollars and fifty cents? One dollar twenty-five cents. So a fourth of a pound would be one dollar twenty-five cents. Three fourths of a pound. Well, that's going to be three times greater than one fourth of a pound. So one dollar twenty five cents times three is going to be three dollars seventy five cents. Three and three fourths of a pound. Three pounds would be five dollars times three. So that's fifteen dollars plus three fourths of a pound. So the price for three fourths of a pound. Zero, one, five dollars, a half is two fifty, a fourth, a fourth is a dollar twenty-five, so three fourths is three seventy-five. Fifteen dollars plus three seventy-five equals eighteen dollars and seventy-five cents a pound. Eighteen dollars and seventy-five cents for three and three fourths pounds. Number seven, in a triple batch of spice mix, there are six teaspoons of garlic powder, 15 teaspoons of salt, so this is a triple batch. Answer the following questions about the mix. If you get stuck, create a double number line. How much garlic is used with five teaspoons of salt? With 15 teaspoons of salt, there's six teaspoons of garlic. In order to make 15 teaspoons of salt turn into five teaspoons of salt, we need to divide it by three. So six teaspoons of garlic divided by three would equal two. Two teaspoons of garlic powder with every five teaspoons of salt. B. How much salt is used with eight teaspoons of garlic powder? Six divided by six equals one. Fifteen divided by six. Two and three six is the same as two and a half. So for every one teaspoon of garlic powder, there's two and a half teaspoons of salt. So this represents garlic powder, this represents salt. So it's a one to two and a half ratio. A one to two and a half ratio. So if we're gonna have eight teaspoons of garlic powder, that means we needed to multiply the one by eight. Now we need to multiply the two and a half times eight. 2 times 8 is 16, half of 8 is 4, 16 plus 4 is 20. So there would be 20 teaspoons, 20 teaspoons of salt to every 8 teaspoons of garlic powder. C. If there are 14 teaspoons of spice mix, how much salt is in it? So you got garlic and you got salt. So we're looking for a total of 14 teaspoons of spice mix. So that's going to be the sum of the garlic and the salt together. So this amount of garlic plus this amount of spice mix needs to equal 14 teaspoons. One times four to get four and two and a half times four. That's going to get me four times two is eight plus half of four is two. Eight plus two is ten. When there are 14 teaspoons of spice mix, there are 10 teaspoons of salt. When there are 14 teaspoons of spice mix, 10 of those teaspoons are salt. D. How much more salt is there than garlic powder if 6 teaspoons of garlic powder are used? 1. Oh, so this is garlic powder. This is salt. 
to two and a half. We figured that out. Two to five, three to seven and a half, four to ten, five to twelve and a half, six to fifteen. For every six teaspoons of garlic powder, there are fifteen teaspoons of salt. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 2 Lesson 10, Comparing Situations by Examining Ratios.